guys let's quickly revise india's 40 investment property with the help of our summary chart first exclusions investment property does not cover biological assets because we have a separate standard india's 41 for it even it does not apply for exploration assets because we have india's 106 for it so investment property means what it is a property that property should be a land or building or part of land or building or both held you could hold this as a owner or you can have it as a lessee having a right of use over it but the main intention of holding that property is to rent it out and earn some rental income or capital appreciation or both that's the meaning of the term inter, uh, investment property okay <clears throat> excuse me that investment property should not be hold, uh, held in the ordinary course of business if you are holding it for sale in the ordinary course of business, it becomes inventory and India is to apply. And that property should not be used in the production of goods, rendering a service and administrative purpose. Because if you are using it for this purpose, then it will become owner-occupied property and India 16 will apply. What happened? A minute, hang on, I think it crashed. Hmm. One second. Okay. All right. Then owner occupied property means those of property which you are using it for production of goods, rendering a service, administrative purpose or rental purpose. So few properties are not investment property. One, if you are holding a property for sale to uh, sale in the ordinary course of business because it becomes inventory, obviously. Owner occupied properties are not investment property. If employee is occupying your property, again, India 16 will apply. It is not investment property. Property, if you are giving it under finance lease, if you want to show that property, you have to compulsorily lease it under operating lease. If it is given under finance lease, it is not investment property. And if your property, if you're holding any property with an intention to sell, then India is 105. That standard will get triggered. Hence, it is not investment property. Okay. Then if any property is held for more than one purpose, then check. First check is, can check whether can you sell the property separately or can you give the property separately under finance lease. Here you're using some portion of property, you're using it for business purpose, some purpose you are letting it up. Check, can you sell these properties separately or can you give this property separately under finance lease? If it is yes, then the property that you're using it for your business purpose, you classify it as OOP and India 16 will apply. The property which you have let it out will be considered as investment property and India 40 applies. If you say, no, I cannot sell it, nor do I can give it on finance lease, then check. What check? Check the usage for business purpose. The portion that you're using it for business purpose, that is production of goods, rendering service, administrative purpose. Check if it is significant. If the usage for business purpose is significant, then the entire property will be classified as OOP and India 16 will get triggered. If no, then the entire property will be classified as IP and India 40 will apply. Then if you're giving any service, you're giving any service. It's not quite natural that when you let out a property, you may give some extra service like repairs and maintenance and uh, security, etc, etc. So that we're calling it as ancillary service. Here, what you have to do, check whether the service provided is significant or not. If the service that you have provided is significant, then the entire property will be classified as OOP and India 16 will apply. Examples could be your hostel, hotel, etc, etc. If provide, service provided is not so significant, like your security, routine maintenance and all, then the property will be classified as IP and India 40 will get triggered. Then transfers. If your intention changes, Earlier, your intention was to let it out and earn rental income. Now, in the current year, you want to use it for your business purpose. That means from IP, it, it will become OOP or from OOP, it could become IP or from IP, it could become inventory or from inventory, it could become IP. Any of this, whatever is the change, this reclassification, how do you do? Whatever is the carrying amount for this reclassification, use only the carrying amount. Basically, do not book any gain or loss on this reclassification. Okay. Then um, others, cost, cost, inclusion, exclusion, subsequent cost, consideration, depreciation, disposal, all these are same as per India 16. But for subsequent cost, for investment property, you can only go for cost model. Revaluation model is not permitted. Only go for cost model. Okay. Then disclosure. Disclosure also have a common pointer I told. One, disclose the accounting policies used for investment property. I told, remember, IFRS allows both cost model and revaluation model. But India's 40 allows only cost model and we have to follow India's. So that's the reason they brought in this accounting policy here refers to cost model or revaluation model. This is relevant for IFRS. 
since we have only cost model, accounting policies becomes irrelevant. It is still there as a disclosure point, but that is more relevant for IFRS disclosure, not here. Okay. All right. Then if property is used for multiple purposes, then you, you need to segregate them as IP and OOP. How did you segregate that criteria you disclose? Depreciation method used, useful life used, reconciliation between opening balance of and closing balance of IP. How did you ascertain? That reconciliation you give it and also specific disclosure for fair values required over here. If IP is under construction, then disclose fair value only if it is available. But once you disclose, till you have IP, you have to compulsorily dispose. Till you dispose of IP, fair value has to be disclosed. However, if it is a completed IP or purchased IP, then there is no challenge in finding fair value. Fair value has to be compulsorily disclosed. Okay. Due to some reason, if you are not able to find out fair value, then state the reason why you are not able to find out the fair value. Okay. This was a quick revision on India's 40 investment property. Thank you.